All right, guys. I probably plan on sifting, or well, drying and then semi-drying these and then sifting them. I'm gonna probably just set them out in the sun for probably under some shade cloth. For probably, I don't know, just an hour or two, just in the early morning sun, and that should be enough for me to then sift them through a sifter. Um, but for the most part, as I'm digging up through this stuff, I'm not seeing near the amount of worms that I first did whenever I was trying to start this. So they're good enough for my liking. Um, I'll, uh, I'll definitely get a video of that of me uh, just sifting through them and stuff. I'll try to make it little snippets and piece those together as a full video of them drying in the sun just for a few minutes on top of the sift. I'll probably set that on top of this bin so that way any stragglers just fall below. But uh, what I was going to do in this video pretty much real quick was see if they're actually in the center of this little cherry bomb that I made here, if you want to call it that. Uh, if you watched any of the videos, I just posted them, so you probably haven't. I don't know if anybody even does. Just kidding. But uh, if you watched, I put a little pile of just frozen cherries in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do some checkup on that. I do want to note that this was not the way to do this. I'm not sure why I just put cardboard like this. Obviously, I should have taken some substrate like this and probably layered it on top and even did like a light little watering. That way it kind of helped get that stuff moist and whatever. Anywho, since I'm just learning as I go, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna peek in here and see basically if any of the worms are over at these cherries. Cause that's what I'm curious about. I'm curious if, you know, they were curious about this. That's what I'm curious about. So let's. I guess it would help if I use my hands, but I don't have enough gloves right now, so. Hmm. I'm not really seeing anything. All the way to the bottom. That's interesting. That makes me wonder if they just all died off. I mean, I don't really know how many were in this pile but I guess let's move it over some more since we really want to see hmm. I don't know guys I guess I'll just have to maybe do a better separation here and then maybe that'll help me kind of see more but, um, I don't know. I've, I definitely will do a bit different, better wedge style system. I've already got one that's in my head. For the bigger bin, there's a worm. Honestly, these guys are probably, unfortunately, just hanging out. Looks like I've been cutting here, so I wonder if I can just cut this off and get a good majority of them out. I know this kind of looks a little silly, but we're going to just section this. Yeah, there we go. See, that's what it figured. So they're still kind of hanging out in the midst of it all. Boom. There they are. Let me zoom in a little. So I guess, again, we're going to have to fix this little experiment by putting some of this stuff on top here. That way we help sort of correct the mistakes. I guess, honestly, at this point, now I'm just leaving this section for casting use. And these, these piles can go back on top. So 
I guess this is an unintended video about refreshing the spin. I don't really know. But it looks like I'm on a better track this way. Either way, this stuff can dry out. These worms can get some activity going by diving down below. This cardboard can get inoculated a little better. Um, I apologize, I'm doing this with a chopstick. Oh, there we go. Look at that. All right. So they were starting to move into the cardboard bedding. Yeah, let me get this up. This is pretty much, well, I pieced it. I pieced it apart right there. Let's see if I can get to that little zone right there. Let's see how it goes. All right. So as y'all can see my little line here, these will be the castings we harvest. And so we're just gonna sorta let it be known that this doesn't need to be messed with, you know? So these worms that are in this limbo zone, they're gonna know that some random thing comes up in here and scrapes. So I'll probably start doing this a little more accordingly or whatever, routinely. And then that way these guys are used to picking a side and they will, I'm going to put the cardboard back over this so they'll know not to pick the side that is open to the light. And like I showed y'all, I'll kind of come in and pick through that. It probably harms them a little, but if I was doing this solely for the worms, I probably wouldn't be doing any of it like this, would I? I'd probably just let them all go back under a tree. So unfortunately, we are doing this for the castings and such. All right, I need to get me... Oh, there we go. Sorry. Again, another reason why you should plan your videos. The gloves are broken, I guess that's why I wasn't using it. But we're going to just finish this real quick. All right, so as y'all can see, now I'm kind of fixing this a little bit by giving this cardboard some castings that have some population in them. And I like to smush my stuff down a little. I don't really know if that's bad or good. I don't really care. I just like to basically make them move it around a little. That's what their job is. They literally aerate soil. That's that's what worms do. They aerate soil. So they just so happen to poop good stuff. Alright, um looks like a pretty good line there to me. Honestly, I think what I'll do is just put my cardboard here and they can just walk the mile. That's what I'll call it. We'll have to go through there to get to here if they so choose. But for the most part, there's not many left in here. So this will be in a video soon of me uh, drying them and then harvesting them. Um, maybe I'll take these castings and I'll do my video that I was wanting to do about... Uh, like a five to one castings to sand video showing how well they retain water so that'll probably be what these are for that way i have a decent amount that i can take a few small samples of and go from there and show y'all um all you'll see in the video what i mean by that a lot of words but once you actually see on visual you'll see what i mean by the water retention part i guess i'll finish this little video off since I've talked so much, I will at least finish it off. Well, let's finish it off by aerating these a little. Seeing what we got left. At the moment, looking pretty good. I don't see bundles like I did, but let's get up in these corners, of course. Because that's where they always like to hang out. Okay. 
nice. So I don't know if y'all are picking that up right here in this corner, but nothing. So for me, even though I'm still, there we go, we got like one. Even though I'm still getting the hang of this, that tells me that they kind of were doing like a weird little migration pattern here. Like they were all kind of going low here, working their way low, making their way to them cherries. Because they were all in this about three days ago. This was where they came from. None of them were here. None of them were here. So to me, I'll go ahead and say it sort of worked. But obviously it could be, could be a little better. There we go. We got another one. And these ones that I'm looking at, I guess you don't look, you just look like you're chilling. Little baby one. Baby. Eh. I'd call that like a teenager. The ones that I got in that see-through bin are more like babies. They don't even have color. But, uh, there we go, another one. But yeah, I'll, uh, Maybe cut this video short as well. Let me finish aerating this. Hopefully you'll actually enjoy watching the aeration part too. I guess I should go ahead and pick this stuff out while I'm at it as well. I'll put it over here. I guess this is a good reason to just kind of do videos as well. Because I did not plan on doing any of this in this video. I just was going to see if they went for the cherries. But... Here we are 11 minutes later and I'm aerating a pile of castings that I'll probably harvest tomorrow night. Or if I'm lucky in the morning. It just depends on what my schedule is like. Gotta get all this stuff out of here. But anyway, so I guess that's the good thing about just kind of doing videos on the fly. You never really know where it's going to take you. Definitely put that over here. It's going to have some cocoons. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's get that jumbo pile. So as you see, they love to go for that cardboard. Let me make sure I get it that right. Sorry if uh, video stuff is bad. I just be letting it sit on a stand and then I just be going to work. So let's So they love to uh, find themselves some wet cardboard to bunker down in whenever they get a little chilling. Whenever they're chilling. Alright. But yeah, so I guess what I can do is just keep on kind of aerating this. There we go. And that'll definitely help dry that out a little. Get some of that out. Some of that cardboard out. Any of the worms that are left in here, they can kind of just, you know, make, make their way to the exit. All right, we're just going to edge that up. All right, well, that was pretty much it for this video. From what I could tell, they're not really hanging out in the corners all that much. They are hanging down in the bottom a little. And I'll go ahead and pick this one up just so y'all can see that I am cooking with some gas, if you will. I got a cocoon there. Go ahead and put that there. I'm sure if I really look around, I'll find a few more. I like finding the differences in the cocoons. I'm guessing that's an early cocoon because it's still in a ball shape, whereas like some of the other ones are more oblong or whatever you want to call it. Ooh, that must be a ball. Oh, but we're getting way too long in the time. It's just hard whenever there's so many worms to play with. But yeah, with the amount of worms I've already picked just now without even trying, I mean, I guess I could say I got at least 100 to 150 in here. I'm sure there's more, but I like to err on the side of less just so that I can always surprise with more. But, uh... Basically, we're going to finish and just set these off to the side. And we're going to let these sort of just air dry now that I've aerated them a little. 
And uh, yeah, I'll do a video tomorrow night of me setting these on the screen. This will then, once these go on the screen, these are going to kind of flatten back out so I can feed, create a better feeding trough. And then uh, these castings will go on top of a sift that sits on top of this. And the stragglers will just drop right back in. And then probably after overnight, sitting above the fan and this light, I will... Actually, no, I'll probably just take it out this, to the... Like I was talking about, take it out back and let it go in the sun. That would be the quickest route in about an hour and two. The castings will be dry enough for me to sift. And all the worms that I care about will have made their escape. Any of the stragglers will be not worth the time. So... Yeah, hopefully that helps with any information about y'all stuff. And any tips, just let me know. I would hope that this bin, the castings and whatnot in this bin, obviously compared to that, a few of my other videos look a lot better. I mean, these are still wet. These are still, oh, there we go. We got another baby worm. Just a sec. We'll go ahead and finish off with that. Little baby, baby worm. But uh, these castings still look pretty good to me. Obviously, they could be dried up a little. And then they would look more like what you would buy in a bag. But see, I use mine for transplant transplants and installs of my fruit trees and stuff. So stuff like this is ideal. Like, I, I want... don't know what that is. Sorry, guys. I'm just curious. So this is the kind of stuff that... Uh, I prefer when I'm working with. That way I also don't have to waste my time uh, drying it out. I can just take, like, honestly, a handful of this, smear it around literally the ball, the root ball of my plant. Oh, good good thing I did that. I just got me a nice little ball of activity. But, um, yeah, I'm rambling too much. I'll go ahead and cut this one off now. Alright guys, I'll get that set up in the next few days and we'll see how these castings look. Thank y'all for watching. Ugh.